Here's how to use Notion GTD, your all-in-one tool for getting things done. First, let's capture a new task and then head over to the inbox. Just the task name is fine for now. From here, we can see all captured tasks, projects, and references. We can change the status of the tasks to a someday maybe item, a next action, a waiting for item, or an eliminated item. But first, let's add some more detail to the task. We can add context tags in case we need to filter our tasks later on. Simply select the tags that you want to add. We can then select a date for the task and assign it to a project if we need to. All active projects will show here. We can then change the status depending on the type of task. This task has now left our inbox and into its relevant folders. Let's head over to the Tasks folder. This folder shows all active tasks no matter the type selected. We can also see what tasks are still within our inbox. We can view all our tasks on the calendar below and can even change the dates of each task by dragging them around, making use of both weekly and monthly views. Let's now head over to the Projects folder. Similarly, we can see all active projects no matter the status and can even see what projects still remain in our inbox. Scroll down, however, and we are able to sort through our projects by their current status. Each project has a progress bar based on the number of tasks completed. We can even edit projects directly from the timeline, simply drag them around to prevent project overlap and even change the project duration. Now moving over to the reference folder, here we have a library of information such as web links, PDFs, and other useful documents. Just like the other folders, we have a place for viewing all references and are able to view references within the inbox. We can sort references by those that need reviewing and those that have been reviewed. Any reference that has been favorited will appear under the Favorited tab. Simply check the box to favorite a reference. Below this, we have folders. Folders can be used to group multiple references by a certain theme. For example, my job interview folder will show all references related to job interviews. Now let's head over to our next actions folder. Here we have a list of our next actions and can filter tasks by those that are due today and those that are due the upcoming seven days. We also have a separate list showing tasks that have been completed, keeping our list of next actions nice and clean. Lastly is a calendar that only shows our next actions. Next up is our waiting for folder. This folder is for showing tasks that have been delegated to another person and we are currently waiting for. It follows the same layout of the next actions folder. Then we have our someday maybe folder. Here are tasks that are not urgent and can be saved for another day. Again, following a similar layout for simplicity. Next up is our context folder. Here is our library of context tags used to filter tasks, projects, and references. Tags can be grouped into various categories to keep things well organized. Those that have a progress bar next to them show that they are currently being assigned to at least one item and shows the total completion. We can also filter through our tasks, projects, and references. Now we have our areas folder. Here we have our various areas of life that can be used to group projects into their broader categories. This is great for keeping personal related projects separate from work related projects. We also have a dedicated calendar folder showing all our tasks on one monthly calendar. Next is our weekly reflection folder. This page can be divided into the three categories, get clear, get current, and get creative. Get clear is about capturing new items into your inbox and processing those that are already there. Get current is for reviewing our next actions and waiting for items. These can be moved around on our calendar once again. Get creative is for reviewing our someday maybe items and perhaps making time to check some off the list. We can schedule them in by simply dragging and dropping them onto the calendar. Moving to our archive folder, here we have a list of all completed tasks and all archived projects and references that are no longer needed but may be useful in the future. To archive a project or reference, simply click on the item and check the archive box. This will now appear in your archive. The last folder is our trash folder. Here we have all our eliminated tasks. You can always move tasks back into your inbox or any type of task folder from the trash. Back on our dashboard, we can toggle the different sections to show just what you want. The dashboard shows just the important parts that are most frequently used. Here we have our next actions, projects, and references. Click the link in the description to download this template and start using your new GTD system today.